Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411 and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much to everybody who has been engaging with comments, likes, and subscribing. You know I do appreciate it so much as we enjoy the number one game in the franchise, The Sims 2. Now we are back in Belladonna Cove with another apartment building redesign and today the clients are going to be the Cleveland family. Jason and Martha, and it should actually be Marissa, lead a very comfortable life. They wonder a bit about whether Justin's friend Tara is distracting him from his schoolwork, though, and about Uncle Jeff squandering the family funds. After all, a privileged status should never be taken for granted. Jason married well, but he has his own financial goals. He's happy to have a partner with in life with similar desires. If only his son would take things more seriously. Coming from a wealthy family, Marissa has no need to work. She's too busy trying to make sure everyone's lives are all going according to plan. She loves her son and it, she is trying to make sure he understands the meaning of the word integrity, something her brother has never learned. Justin would love to live his own life without his mother's constant interference. Why can't she be more like cool Uncle Jeff. The military job that she is making him take on is taking time away from getting to spend time with his friend Tara. Okay, so the family is really kind of screwed up. Uh, personality versus aspiration and actually even versus star sign because this personality really should be a Pisces but they've got it as a Taurus so clearly the creators messed around in the backgrounds, making them not fit quite right, which is fine, I guess. Marissa over here, she would like to become a criminal and has a lifetime want to be a criminal. And Jason has a desire for woohoo, not specific person, just woohoo in general. And his lifetime goal is to become a professional party guest. Both of those things kind of say romance sim but I wouldn't even put him as a romance sim I would say he probably is well assigned as a money sim and Marissa probably as well although I would probably lean more towards popularity for her Justin over here is a popularity sim but I would make him a family sim uh, their hobbies are tinkering sports and music and dance so I will be keeping that in mind. Now the building itself looks like it was probably originally designed to go into Veronaville because a lot of the buildings were created with base game neighborhoods in mind. And this one definitely skews very Veronaville in the way it looks on the outside. And it's almost completely base game on the inside. But we will see what we can do. It is four units, two two-story units, and two one-story units. So we're going to see what we can do about it. Like I said, it's got a Veronaville feel, not unlike Carlos Contender's place. So we're going to keep that in mind as we move forward with the redesign. So let's go ahead and get them evicted. Now, before the eviction, they had about 42000 And after the eviction... It's looking to be uh, 81,000. So yeah, let's go in and check out the building. So with this split building design that is actually very prevalent in Veronaville, as well as the textures, not only on this lot, but also the ones in the near vicinity, clearly meant to possibly be a building that you could slip into Veronaville and it would just fit very nicely. Of course, that would be on the cap side, not on the Monty side, whereas these buildings over here strike me much more Monty. Some of the textures are from the Jock collection in Apartment Life, and I may or may not choose to use those as part of my design choices but I will definitely keep it in mind possibly for at least a room or two as I move forward with the redesign. I am going to see if there is any way I can salvage additional space either from the oh, 
the balcony up here or maybe also from this area here because we do need more space. These are relatively cramped, especially if you figure a family of three. I mean, it's two bedrooms, two baths, and so it's not ridiculously small, but it's far from spacious. They are supposed to be a pretty wealthy family, so I feel like this is very humble for a family that is meant to show off as wealth, especially, you know, I built a really nice house for Jeff and Connor, so I probably should try to at least match that energy for the Clevelands. Now, as usual, if I've got a foundation, you know that I'm going to want to do a basement. We don't know what we'll use it for, but we're going to go ahead and make sure that we have it should we want it. So first cut away with always at least one tile from the edge, then choosing five from a corner go down three lengths, hammer that away, and using the terrain tool, that way. Okay, and of course there's our basement. Now just as a fun little aside, you can even use the terrain tool to drop all the tiles down the way they are. And I forgot to remove these interior walls on the ground level. That was silly of me. Now, I didn't want to change the overall exterior significantly, but I did want to find just a little bit of extra space. So I will increase this by one tile each, which is 10 tiles. And that's basically going to give us a little bit of extra room. Not a lot, but just a little. And a little goes a long way. It's amazing what I can do with 10 tiles of space. So we will do that. What I choose to do as far as exterior textures still remains to be seen. I might try to duplicate this, but at the same time, I might do something entirely different. Now on the upper floor, it is gonna be just a little bit different. So instead of a five by five balcony, I'm going to have a four by three balcony right like this on each of these units because that's enough. I mean, really, this is way too much balcony for the size of this unit. So yeah, that's gonna be all that we need. So we're going to change the ground floor apartments from one bedroom, one bath to two beds and two baths. So we are going to have one bedroom here. It'll be a four by five. And then on the flip side will be the kitchen. So this will be the bedroom. This will be the kitchen. Then there will be another bedroom right here. And these two bedrooms will be separated by closet space here. And a bathroom here. This will be the main living area, and of course there will be an eating space in the kitchen. So that's the ground floor apartments. And with the space that I found for the larger units, we are going to have two four by five rooms over here. So this will be the formal dining room, this will be the kitchen, and I will have the stairwell here and a first floor bathroom here. So this will be the formal living room and then the informal family room. Now on the upper floor, we're going to have two four by five rooms. Of course, this is where the stairwell will be. A closet for this bedroom this bedroom will have a closet right here. Then this will be the closet for the master bedroom and the bathroom for the master bedroom. And then we will have a hallway leading to there. So we turned the bottom floor to a 
two bedroom unit with one bath and the top floor to a three bedroom unit with two baths. Now I will decorate. Okay, so it's time to take a look at the newly redesigned Bella Park condominiums. Of course, I did bump out each building one tile towards the staircase, giving the bottom units 100 total tiles and the top units 200 total tiles each, including their balconies. And that basically gave me the opportunity to give each of them an extra bedroom. Of course, doing that did require that I change the roof line, and all I did was remove the auto roof and then replace it with a new auto roof, but I did use the shed roof over the smaller balcony because they did not need 25 tiles of balcony. They're just not going to use it. It's unused space. So a little balcony is fine. A big balcony is stupid. Now the back deck entertainment area has a picnicking area for those Saturday afternoon building parties. There is also the pit became a pool area as well as a hot tub because two hot tubs just didn't make sense. And over here we have a sunning area. Now the pool and hot tub area actually also has a floating roof which is ostensibly being supported by four palm trees. I like to say it's a very lightweight roofing. Now the two bottom units are 100 tiles each, which have five rooms. The main living area, off of which are four other rooms. The first of which being the kitchen with the eating space now, overall, I chose to do this very earthy and warm. Now, the bathrooms are all identical with the beige tiny tile, and I did actually use some custom content, truly custom content. This is the small house models from Mod The Sims. Like I said, I got two bedrooms into the smaller unit. They started with only one, but 10 tiles plus better space planning gave me the opportunity to have two 20 tile bedrooms, each with a wall closet. And I chose the mirrored one because it makes it brighter. It gives it a larger feel. Plus, you know, it gives them an opportunity to practice speech or practice romance. And this is another small house model piece, which of course is actually just a recolor of one of the Ikea pieces. So a nice place for two roommates to live or, you know, parents and a child. And directly across from that unit, of course, we have the other smaller unit. Much more southwestern in its feel. Exact same layout, of course, only flipped. I used the club pieces for the kitchen. Like I said, the bathroom is identical, so I'm not going to show you that. I tried to make sure we had a lot of ambient light as well as the light that we actually see. light fixtures we actually see. Okay, and that's the second unit. Now we can just go right upstairs. And these are the larger units. They are three bedrooms and two baths each. This is the one that I have set aside for Marissa and Jason. 
Since they were clearly wearing the high class clothes, I gave them a very high class place. Off of the entrance way, we have our staircase and the first floor bath. From the formal sitting room, we have the formal dining room. And I pulled the patterns in from the upholstery. And then you can get to the full kitchen. No, there's not an eating space. and. Why do my counters separate like that? Okay, that was really annoying. So a lot of very warm tones with a lot of burnt umber in this particular build. A lot of oranges. And burgundies. And then through here we have the less formal entertainment area. Place for a desk and the bookcases and just a tiny hallway back into the formal living room and then in here we have our staircase and we can go up and we are on a landing which puts us out onto the balcony. The hallway gives us three doors, one of each of three bedrooms. So let's go to this one first. This would be technically the smallest room because it's 20 tiles minus the two for the closet. And so in order to get two beds in here, I had to put them foot to foot which is fine. They each have their own dresser and there's a little vanity. This is clearly the more juvenile room in case Jason and Marissa want to have a second child. Down at the end of the hall would be Justin's room. And no, this doesn't really suit him, but this is the one that is technically for him. I guess he could be in the other one. The very rich colors with the split analogous color scheme of green and purple. A split analogous means that there is a color between them, that color being blue. All right, and then back out into the hall. The door that is closest to the landing is the master room for Marissa and Jason. And I styled it in a lot of very eclectic somewhat Asian, but not 100%. Eclectic is the higher end version of boho. And the master room has a walk-in closet. And of course the bathroom, which is the same as all the other bathrooms in the complex. Back out onto the second floor landing, we enter the last of the four units and this one is done more nouveau and again a lot of very warm tones i really love the nightlife tones a gourmet kitchen And their informal sitting room with the shakily stuff from Life Stories. Going back upstairs from here. Again, have access to the balcony. And the balconies on each of them have access to the master room. Now, in this case, the master bedroom, I used the... Bon Voyage bed and I used the Glamour Life art piece and replaced the headboard with it just to give it something different, a different look. 
and I had to place that using the snap objects to grid off. Very warm in here, a little bit tropical. And the child's room here, pretty fun. And the third bedroom is very futuristic. As a matter of fact, I actually like this better for Justin, but he gets the other room because that's what I decided. So let's go ahead and add our family and see what they think. Oh, great. Let's start with negative interactions. That's awesome. Okay, but you're going to go ahead and tell a joke, which we think is great. And Justin, why don't you just go ahead and rent that furnished apartment? Yes, we need to rent that. There we go. Excellent. Okay, and it has moved up. It is now attracting techies and socialites so it is a higher level than it was to begin with let's actually go check that basement out that i never showed you and congratulations for discovering your love of music and dance that's not much for you let's see i never knew if bowling counts as sports or games I guess it's games, although technically I think it's a sport. But you've got to go to work, Jason. Why don't you make an espresso for yourself, please? And enjoy it on your balcony and take it all the way downstairs and put it there instead of, you know, using the conveniently placed dishwasher that was on the balcony because that's great. Okay, and Justin has brought his homework home, so why don't you do that? And you are introducing yourself to Cameron Lee, who is currently at work. Okay, not a problem. Decided to touch base with Jace McCaravich, who in a previous save of mine was the leader of a werewolf clan. So this gives fitness, but is considered a game. That's cool. Well, I think this is going to be a good fit for all of them as they are able to pursue their hobbies and dreams here in Bella Park Condominiums. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you soon in the pixelated world. And that's all I have to say. BK out.